Before you process a payment on an event, what you'll first need are settlement codes. You can set these up in Core Jonas under Activity Management and then set up edit settlement codes. You'll need a settlement code for each method of payment that your members will be using to put deposits or payments on their events. So to set up a new one, just go to set up another settlement code or what you can do is click on one that you already have and this will tell you exactly which general ledger account the payment will go to when it's posted. So when you set up a new settlement code, you'll enter in a code first and then give it a description. Put in a payment description and then tell me what type it is. So whether it's member charge, cash, external processor, which is credit card or check. Then you'll need to post a GL account. So this is the bank account that the money will go to when the payment is posted. The other side of the GL entry is set up under the activity management program, which is where we'll go next. If you wish, you can assign a settlement reporting code to each activity management settlement code. And those are set up so that you can report on different methods of payment, whether it be in POS or in event management. Hit OK to save your new settlement code and then head into your activity management program where you'll have to run an integration. So go to system administration and then integration and use this gear with a play button to start the import. Once your integration is completed, you can check out the other side of your deposit or payment posting by going to event management, additional options, setups, and then event settings. So in event settings under GL integration, you'll see this is your deposits and payments received account. So this is the liability account or the credit side of the GL posting that will be made when you post an event. You can have the deposit and payment account be the same, or you can have two different accounts if deposits and payments are two completely separate things at your club, it does not matter. So now that you know the GL implications, to process a payment on an event, what you'll need to do is go to an event, double click on it to edit it, and then go to the Payments tab. Here, the first thing you'll need is to fill in the date of record. So this is when this money will hit the general ledger accounts, and also when it will hit the event, so when it will be posted as of. Then choose the payment type, so whether it's a payment or a deposit. Each club has its own definition of these two things, but generally a deposit is before the event and a payment is after the event is completed. Then you can choose your payment items, and these are the settlement codes that we've just set up in Core Jonas. Key in the amount of the payment, and then you can put in a reference. So typically this reference would be used to get the approval code from a credit card, maybe the deposit number from the deposit slip at the bank, or the check number of the check that the member has handed you. Hit preview to get a preview of the GL summary that's going to happen when you hit post. And if this is satisfactory to you, go ahead and close the preview. You'll get a copy of the audit trail, which will post to your Jonas general ledger accounts. You will also no longer be able to edit that payment line. It will now be grayed out because it has been posted. To reverse this payment, you would have to go in and put in a negative $5,000 payment on the event. You'll also see this reflected if you look at the event invoice, or if you look at the summary tab, down at the very bottom of the financial summary, you'll see payments received, and that will affect the balance due for the event. Going back into your core Jonas program, if you're looking at your general ledger account inquiries, you'll also see that payment reflected in the general ledger accounts.